Hi, Bruce from Safari, and uh, this boat here is Climate Action Now being refitted. And uh, Safaris and Victron are donating equipment and all our uh, labour and expertise to get this boat uh, uh, as energy efficient as possible. Let's go up on deck and we'll show you what we're going to do. Right, we're on top of the boat now, and we're here with uh, Lisa Blair. And uh, Lisa's going to explain to us what we've changed in the solar. Lisa. Hi, everyone. Um, so as most of you know, I'm sailing solar around Antarctica. In Antarctica, it's pretty close to overcast most of the time. Um, with the original setup of the solar panels on the boat, uh, what we were doing was having one of the Solbian panels direct to a controller. Um, but that doesn't allow the panel voltage to start jump the controllers. So what the guys of Safari have designed, which is going to be an amazing system, is this panel voltage by linking all the solar panels up into a series connection using these DC units that are here. So these are two DC to DC controllers that kind of connect everything together and link it all together. That creates the series connection and it allows us to get a um, panel voltage of 69 volts. Now all of that then feeds through to the smart solar charge controller. This needs a 20 volt charge input to actually activate it. So by connecting them in series, if we're overcast, we might be getting, you know, 50, 55 volts from the panels. And by having them structured this way, if one panel is shaded, it won't actually matter to the, the panel voltage output. So we'll still be able to engage our MMPTs or MPPTs uh, and actually get some pretty good solar output on board the boat. So I'm uh, Lisa, I'm you are spot on with your technical description. <laughs> well done and let's get it done today. We've got the team inside there working away. So there's Kieran saying hello and uh, we're going to get it all done. Let's uh, let's go. How good's that? 